Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about comparing fractions and using the greater than, less than or equal signs to make the number sentences correct. So let's look at the first one. We've got one fifth and one seventh. Now what you can't do is just say that seven is bigger than five, therefore one seventh is bigger than one fifth. That would be totally wrong. You can't just do that and just look at the bottom numbers. So what we've got to do is we use common denominators. So we need a common denominator for both five and seven. So if we make an equivalent fraction with a common denominator, then it's much easier to compare them. Well, five and seven, both, if you times them together, you get 35. So therefore, they would both go into 35. So we can make equivalent fractions out of 35. Well, to get from seven to 35, you make it five times bigger. So you would also have to make the one five times bigger. Well, one times five is five. So one seventh as an equivalent fraction is five thirty fifths. On the other side, to make the five into thirty five, you times by seven. So you're making five seven times bigger. So you make the one seven times bigger. One times seven is seven. So one fifth is seven thirty fifths, and one seventh is five thirty fifths. So now we really need to compare the 7 35ths to the 5 35ths. Much easier to compare when the denominators are both the same. 7 35ths is obviously bigger than 5 35ths. It's a bit like a spelling test. Someone who got 7 out of 35 on a spelling test has obviously got a bigger score than someone who got 5 out of 35. 7 35ths is bigger than 5 35ths. For the other question... We're comparing three fifths and four sevenths. Well, we could just use the same technique again. Again, 35 could be the common denominator. So let's make them both out of 35. To get from 5 to 35 is times 7. To get, so 3 times 7 is 21. And to get from 7 to 35 is times 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. So we've got 21 35ths being compared to 20 35ths. Again, in a spelling test, 21 out of 35 would be a bigger score than 20 out of 35. So if it's a bigger score, the, the inequality sign has to point towards the 3 fifths. Some teachers call it a crocodile's mouth, and they say that the crocodile's mouth has to turn towards and face the bigger thing. The crocodile is hungry, so we want to eat the bigger thing. So if 21 35ths is bigger, the crocodile's mouth points towards the 21 35ths. The correct name for it is an inequality sign. An inequality sign, spelled like this, inequality sign, it just means the opposite of equals. Well, when two things are equal, they are the same. So if they are unequal, unequal basically means not the same. So what you're actually saying with an inequality sign is the two sides are not the same. And three fifths is not the same as four sevenths because three fifths is bigger than four sevenths. 21 30 fifths is bigger than 20 30 fifths. Well, there was another way that we could have done this. We could have used the fraction strips to help us. Well, one fifth versus one seventh. Well, one fifth of the top bar would be one out of five pieces and one seventh of the bottom bar would be one out of seven pieces. And you can clearly see that the one out of five pieces is a bigger piece than the one out of seven pieces. If they were chocolate bars and you were hungry, you'd want the fifth because that's a bigger piece of the whole bar than the seventh. If you continue um, shading in, so three fifths would be one piece, two pieces, three pieces. So that's three fifths. And four sevenths on the bottom one would be, there's two pieces, three pieces, four pieces. So you can see just about that the three fifths is ever so slightly bigger because it's got this extra bit that I've just circled in yellow on the end. So again, three fifths is bigger than four sevenths. But you wouldn't always have bars there drawn for you nicely like we have on this question. If this was on an exam paper, really you should be able to do it by making a common denominator. What you definitely don't do is just say that, well, 4 is bigger than 3 and 7 is bigger than 5, therefore 4 sevenths is bigger, because actually it's not. 
just because four and seven are both bigger than three and five doesn't mean that four sevenths is bigger. You can see from the bar, four sevenths is smaller than three fifths. And you can also see from the common denominator equivalent fractions as well. Four sevenths is only 20 30 fifths and three fifths is 21 30 fifths. So three fifths must be bigger.